What is up, everybody? Welcome to The Closing Pitch. My name is Spiker Helms, and this is a show about culture, people, and how to create a winning lifestyle. I want to bring in my co-host, David Berkby. How you doing? Good, man. How we doing? Doing really well. Um, so what I want to do is, obviously, this is our first episode, and we're going to make mistakes as we go along, but um, the first episode, I really want to kind of establish the show and what we're going to talk about. And um, right now, as we're making the show... Uh, in culture, we're talking about the coronavirus and um, a lot of things are shutting down. So it's kind of an odd scenario for us when um, creating this show. And this went back probably about a year. We've talked about doing this mm-hmm. actual podcast. We just didn't have the means to do it. Time, um, resources. Uh, but we're at that point where we can actually really dig deep into uh, making a podcast and actually dedicating time to it where we don't start it up and we only do like five shows and six shows and say, all right, let's close up shop. Um, this is a long run type of feel and um, we're planning on putting out a lot of episodes um, on topics that we we think um, are huge, huge things for uh, people to understand when it comes to building a team culture and um, building a presence um, in the community. And kind of give you a backstory of who we are. I know Dave's chomping at the bit. He wants to talk on the mic. Uh, it's all good. <laughs> um, we are directors for a national organization called the Rawlings Tigers. And our main priority is um, our St. Louis location, but also to help out directors in different locations throughout the United States. And um, I do the marketing end of things. Um, Dave is on the sales and marketing um, and also just support system. So um, with that said, I'm going to bring in Dave. I want him to talk about what he does and kind of his plans for the show. Yeah. I mean, so kind of to go off what Spiker said, I mean, obviously I'd, I'd I've worked for the Tigers since we've started and, you know, helped grow this business from day one. And, um, you know, I've, I work personally on more of the sales side, the marketing side. Um, I also do the business to business relationships. Um, and then just general consulting for all of our directors out there, all of our players, coaches, parents, et cetera. Um, what I kind of see this show doing this podcast doing is, you know, we have a ton of conversation spike on a daily basis about, you know, this business, um, different dealings and relationships with our players, with our coaches, with our parents. You know, we hear the pain points on a daily basis. I mean, we have so many conversations just in our office, you know, really, really good, genuine conversations that personally I think can help people out there. If they hear it from, from our perspectives, uh, maybe we can shed a light on, you know, different viewpoints out there, maybe answer some questions that people have, um, that's really what I, I think personally will be a, a big hit on this podcast. And what's interesting about um, the situation that we're in, how, what we chose to do with our lives, which we're in the sports industry, um, but more importantly, we, we try to um, instill the beliefs that we found to make us successful in our careers in the sports world and we we actually get paid for it and I'm not afraid to say that and um, so we're both on the business aspect of it and we're also on the sports side of it where we're coaching young individuals and trying to prepare them for not only just the games but in life and what to expect in life and that that deals with outside college baseball Um, that's more of what are you going to do if you become a business owner or what do you do if you're in the corporate world? Um, if you just want to be a teacher, how, how, what type of core values do you need to be successful? Which I think this is what I want the closing pitch to be about. It's, um, and showing what or listening to what is, um, I'm I'm trying to grab the words. It's, a winning culture, a mindset that just is a, a do like I'm going to do it. I'm not going to be lazy. I'm not going to watch Netflix. Yep. I'm not going to sit there and watch Good Morning America or whatever show that you watch and um, be satisfied with that. There's there's a bigger purpose in life than than just being a consumer. Well, I mean, I think you said it right there. You said just do it. I mean, and that is those are three very simple words. But man, dude, like, like just think from day one. Think of all the mistakes we've made. Mm-hmm. But you know what? We're out there doing it. Just like this podcast. We're going to make mistakes on this. Mm -hmm. No doubt. 
and and maybe everything we say isn't a hundred percent correct. I hope it is. I'm gonna. Tr- I'm, I mean, I'm gonna be honest on this, right? But that's the key to to when you want something to go do that. And hopefully, you know, through the through what we talk about the different topics, it, it hopefully it it pushes people to do that. Yeah. And what's what's funny about creating content and uh, one thing about me guys is that I'm, I'm big into social media and I, I've just always been intrigued by it. I'm, I, I love learning what people find interesting and um, I love seeing how um, different communities grow and going back to my first episodes of Tiger TV I literally shot it on a point-and-shoot camera and I had no concept of um, where the camera should be put placed and then i didn't even consider audio which is funny right now because we're doing a podcast and you were bald at that time i was i was definitely bald (laughs) um (laughs) i was super bald actually what's funny about that is um i was giving instructions and i came in like because the reason i got hair is because i got married um and the one of the moms comes up and she's like oh my gosh did you get like surgery and i was like what are you talking about she goes you have hair. Did you get like implants? I'm like, Did you go no. to Hans Wyman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's a local St. Louis yeah, company that replaces know. hair. Yeah, guys, everyone's so. like, Who, who's that? <laughs> but I was like, no, like I'm not. Uh, what? And she's like, I thought you were totally bald. Like I th- seriously thought you were bald. And she like referred to another instructor in our, <laughs> in our, in our facility. And I was like, no, I'm not bald. And she's, and it was just a, it was just a funny story. So yeah. Anyways, I'm not bald. I, that's what back in the day. And literally, if you want to go back to our YouTube channel, you can see how, how it was good. It's good content, good information, but it was just poorly produced and everything like that. So, um, we are going to make mistakes, but the big thing is, is that there, there's a message to be delivered. There's a story to be delivered. And I think that a lot of people are going to find a lot of value in it. And, um, if you don't turn us off, uh, right. we'll, we'll get the message, but if you like it, um, comment to us start a conversation with us because again this is a community that i don't i don't view this as a us being like on a perch i view this as being on an equal playing field and i and i want to know what you guys are struggling with because it's probably the same things that i'm struggling with and oh, yeah. maybe i can give some insight or maybe you guys can give some insight into us and we can share it on the show well said so no i'm looking forward to it man i think this is going to be a good ride um just looking forward to getting some information out there um, so this is going to be the conclusion of episode one. I know it's not, um, a long episode. Um, but if you would like to jump in this conversation, we're going to use an app called anchor, which is a podcasting app. Um, the reason that we're using it is because you can actually submit audio. So if you have questions or comments, um, I want to, I want to edit that into our podcast episodes. Um, also if we end up getting in a conversation where me and Dave are just in a car and it's a, it's a fire type of conversation that we think a lot of people are going to, um, really enjoy listening to. We're going to, we're going to use some audio that is not necessarily clean, um, audio where there's, um, it's, it's not a clean line. It's, there's a lot of fuzziness in there. If it's a, if it's a value prop conversation, I want to, I want to insert it. I want to get the conversation going. Um, so that's the show guys. Um, if you want to comment, use anchor. If we're, we're going to be posting this on Facebook as well. So if you'd like to comment in the comment section, if you feel like written words, a lot better for you, uh, please do that. And also please review the podcast that helps us reach more people. And it gives us an idea of what you guys like. Thanks guys. See ya. Thank you for watching or listening or both to The Closing Pitch. If you would like to get your closing pitch featured on the show, we use a podcasting app called Anchor where you can submit your statement or question via audio. Or what you can do is comment in the comment section of this post. We also accept direct messages. Please give us the A-OK if you do send us a DM to use your statement or question on the show. Last thing, please give us a review on your platform of choice five star preferably and we value your opinion and this allows us to reach more people thank you for listening and we will catch you in the next episode